in the heart of Jawaharlal Nehru University, a prestigious institution of higher learning in Delhi. Center for Study of Regional Development, CSRD, a beacon of academic excellence and a driving force behind regional development studies. Established in 1971, the CSRD has emerged as a premier center for interdisciplinary research and teaching, fostering a deep understanding of regional development issues in India and beyond. CSRD carries forward the vision of change. Our center not only is interdisciplinary, the faculty also comes from different backgrounds. It was Professor Munis Raza who conceived, you know, uh, to have Center like Center for the Study of Regional Development, where he uh, thought of bringing in the developmental component uh, in the geography. First course that uh, was introduced was uh, MPhil courses in 1971. Uh, from 72, uh, they started with the masters. Center is the first geography department in the country who got first DSA, that is Departmental Social Assistance under the UGC program. And subsequent to that, we also have Center for Advanced Studies status from the UGC. And we have completed this, all the three stages of the CAS, CAS 1, CAS 2 and CAS 3 in this center. The center offers research avenues in the field of economics, geography and population studies. We have created enormous infrastructure in the department. To mention a few, we have a elaborate geomatic laboratory which is housing about 30 plus computers which are used for the master students with the, all the modern geomatic or geospatial software tools and techniques including the photogrammetric analysis option. We also have a well equipped geomorphic lab consists of, of an advanced OSL and dating technique uh, with a uh, magnetic separator and other peripherals required for this purpose. In addition to that, we recently acquired a handheld uh, you know, XRF which is uh, useful for sedimentological or mineralogical studies under different geomorphic conditions. The center is uh, planning to introduce three to four master's program. One is a master's program in population studies Another is a master's program in development uh, economics and another master's program that MS in geoinformatics is proposed. These programs are under development. In near future, this program will be available to the students of the center. In the master's, the first course is RD401. So the first course is geomorphology with reference to India. So India was uh, the focus. Uh, so related field work that uh, he said was uh, to be in the mountains during the summer vacations. So first uh, field trip was taken to Kashmir. Um, and this, uh, that period I know that center has been, you know, taking how to organize the field work, how to make it safer for students, how to make it conducive uh, environment to conduct the field work. So we have uh, covered Ladakh, we have covered Kashmir, uh, we have covered part most part of Himachal Pradesh, uh, from Chamba to Lahul to Spiti to Kinor um, area and, uh, and Uttarakhand, uh, we have covered uh, Kangotri uh, Basin, we have covered Alaknanda Basin also. We have been bringing it because it's nation building by bringing students together under difficult environmental conditions, uh, sharing their experiences, sharing their food, sharing their uh, history, sharing their legends and their, their stories, their, you know, local stories. Of late, what has happened is instrumentation has started coming in. We measure it using, well, GPS, GPS mapping we do. I've been doing, you know, total station mapping also. Our research focuses on various geomorphological processes. At various platforms, we have presented our work, such as International Geomorphological Congress, European Geoscience Union, American Geophysical uh, Union, and Guam Tell Dead School, American Association of uh, Geophysics, American Association of Geographer, various ways we have tried to represent our center and general as well. We are honored to host this August gathering of academicians and experts in the field of geomorphology.
on behalf of JNU and CSRD, I extend warm welcome to all the participants of this conference.